To make a brick stitch with a right hand orientation means that the single point stored is on the right, we're going to pick the two right strings because the left right is on the left, we're going to put it on the left. And because the right string is on the right, we're going to keep it on the right. Now, to make sure you see what I'm doing, I'll put my left hand and put it underneath the strings. And because it's a right hand stitch, we're going to continue with the right side. And we're going to pick the orange string and we're going to leave over under the two white strings and make sure it's going to be in between the orange and the white strings. Now push it a little bit so like that and I'm going to take the second orange string and I'm going to leave again over under as you will see in a moment. See like that and by that we form the oxage. Next we're going to take this red string and make sure this orange is in between the red and the first orange. I'm going to take the red string and I'm going to leave over under again. And I want to make sure it's not going to fall because it might fall. So after pushing the string, you want to push it upward also. And finally, we'll take the last red string and make sure the first red is in between the orange loop and the last red string. I'm going to take the last red string and I'm going to leave over and under. And once we went under, it's going to be in between the white and the red loop, like that. I'm going to push it, and by that, we need to push all the strings now. Actually, pull all the strings. Take the three strings on the left, three strings on the right, pull all the strings, and by that, you get a left hand stitch. So, to make a left hand brick stitch, you can check on the left side. And if you want to know more about 2 by 1 stitches, you can check on our right side. So thank you very much for watching and see you next time.